Hey everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue here for today's cricket chat program, our daily live cricket program where you get to um, chat along with me as we make tons and tons of wonderful projects here um, live. And um, and we have a lot of fun doing it. And we have a lot of fun talking to one another. Great group. I recently posted a couple of pictures from, hi Susan, from, um, from our group chat that we had on Saturday night. We had a Zoom call and um, some people had created some special things um, and I wanted to show them off and I posted it and we're celebrating our one year anniversary of this lovely group um, called Cricket Chat. Um, and I wanted to uh, talk to you about about it because um, I have a special surprise um, for the anniversary of um, the one year anniversary of the Cricket Joy and also um, the the one year anniversary of Cricket Chat. So just to give you a little bit of background, I am a Cricket product expert. Um, I've been this I've been doing this job. It's not really a job. I mean, I work with Cricket. I'm not an employee, but I've been doing this job since 2014. I really love it. It's given me an opportunity to meet a ton of great people. Um, and when the pandemic hit, I was looking for a way to sort of grow. I had been doing um, some personal classes and I did have a YouTube channel and all of that fun stuff but um, my channel has always been small and uh, so over the course of uh, the pandemic when I also um, when I also was a uh, just diagnosed with cancer so I had like kind of a double whammy happy birthday Susan I know I was going to wish you happy birthday live. Um, so during the pandemic, I, um, I'm sorry about the noise. I'm trying to cut something out uh, for today's show. But anyway, during the pandemic, I also went through um, cancer treatment and everybody here was so encouraging. I was able to um, make it through the year without missing that much. I missed, I think, maybe five shows um, because of illness from the treatments. And I am now 100% cured from my cancer, which is great. And and I'm so excited about that. But along the way, I met some really awesome people. And um, I grew my channel quite a bit. And I am so thankful both to Cricket and to these people that believed in me and uh, banded together and helped us grow. And we are now at, let's see, as far as um, the YouTube channel, I, which, you know, I only have, I only have 12,000 people. However, um, just a couple of years ago, I only had like a hundred people. So um, I look at that as a success. You know, I, I see some of these other crafters online and uh, the Cricut crafters, and they have like 100,000 or 300,000 or whatever um, followers. And I know I'm not supposed to compare myself to others. Um, I'm just grateful for where I've been. But sometimes, when, uh, you know, how I've gotten here and all the people that helped me. But sometimes I think, oh, man, I wish I had... I wish I had all those kinds of followers, you know, but I am so grateful for the people that I have um, that follow me on a regular basis and I've established great uh, relationships with people like Emmy Vargas and um, Brent McDonald and Dorothy Martin, Don Walsh, Sandra Wade, um, Lori Joe Carroll, Alaydra Curry, a lot of people, um, and I'm just so thankful to have them. So I think, hey, 
if we've made it this far, let's expand it, you know? Constance, yes, I'm thankful for you all. Um, and so let's expand this present. So I am going to be giving away a brand new Cricut Joy machine. Um, and I'm going to do that. Uh, and haha, ha, Don, John asked me last night if I was giving away a machine, and I said no. But I'm going to give away a brand new Cricut Joy machine, um, and I'm going to try to do it as like a membership drive, but not membership, like subscriber drive maybe. Um, so I'm going to ask you if you haven't already subscribed, I'm going to ask you in the future to share um, things from my YouTube page and whatever, and I'm going to run it for a couple weeks so that everybody has the opportunity um, and uh, and to sort of see that. Now, if you haven't got a Cricut Joy um, and you've liked or you're interested in it, um, yay, craft diversity, craft diversity. I like that, craft diversity. So um, if you haven't got a Joy, they're pretty amazing and um, I think you'll really enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I, and I know many followers have problems have with me many followers have problems with me oh oh i'm sorry i'm sorry if that's the case people have problems with me Faye. um and i'm not looking to be like these gargantuan you know hundreds of thousands of people but i'd like to see growth and um i think i think if i set my sights on say twenty five thousand people by the end of the year because remember last year we hit the 10,000 mark, and it, that was my goal to hit the 10,000 mark. Well, we're now um, at 12,000. And so I think in the next 10 months, if we can just about double that, um, I, I would be very happy with that. That to me is a, is a good solid number. Not that, you know, I'm not happy now. I am very, very happy. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. I was just concerned. So I just thought I would um, throw that out there. I haven't posted it yet. Um, I haven't posted it yet. Well, people do have trouble with the fact that I'm very chatty and this is a chatty program and we tend to take almost an hour every day of your life to do this. And some people on YouTube, um, I got last week, I got somebody say to me, <laughs> she seems like a sweet woman, but if I just wanted to learn something real quick, it's, it's like so hard, <laughs> you know? So, uh, you know, I guess I'm not for everybody and I totally get that. And I'm not trying to be, you know, the next Martha Stewart or the next Anna Griffin, let's say. But I think, um, I think we can have, you know, a bigger team, a bigger group of people. And we're so welcoming. Um, we've welcomed so many people. Think of all the people you know now that you didn't know last year. Um, there's quite a few people and there's like there's even 3,000 people in the Miss Rita to the Rescue group and then there's people uh, in Joy and, and in our Just Cricket Joy group so I just want to just spread the love because I just um, love to talk about cricket and I'll tell you <laughs> over a year ago I was like anybody that wanted to talk to me about cricket I would be like talking to them in the in the aisles of Michael's it was almost kind of like pathetic because you know you don't you can't gauge what people and some people they would look at you my my good friends you know they'd look at you and they'd be like yeah um and they want to be a you know they want to be encouraging but they know nothing about the cricket now I have a group of friends that um know what I'm talking about and um know what I'm, you know, know what I'm so excited about, which is um, crafting with my Cricut. So um, look forward to having a, um, a special uh, sort of subscriber drive giveaway of a brand new Cricut Joy. Um, and we'll also have a few other contests as well. I have a white 
Cricut Cutie that I is an extra that I, I'm going to give away. I have a gold Cricut Cutie that I'm going to go give away. And then we'll have um, additional prizes going through um, the spring and into the summer. So I hope that you um, can make it. And if you can't make it, like my friend Dorothy, um, come and watch the show on on uh the the replay either on facebook or on uh youtube and i really really appreciate all the shares thank you everyone i really do um so let's get crafting because i can hear my machine is finishing up today after i say hello we're going to be working on um it's going to come up probably by the end of the week remember i'm kind of a one-man show so i have to um i have to get uh, I have to get uh, I have to get all organized now. Somebody just asked about the prizes that have happened. So okay, February um, prizes are all in. Um, if you won a February prize, um, and except for Bran, who won the in April, April's um, still hasn't shipped it yet. April, I'm so sorry. And then Bran has Bren, April won a um, Easy Press Mini, and it's going to be shipped from here this week. I promise. And Bran as well, going to ship it out this week. I promise. Um, but the other prizes go through Cricut, and I just spoke to the woman who um who handles that with me and uh she is going to be processing them this week there was because we had the big launch uh last week of root beer uh, usually i all of my prizes go out at the end of the month but she didn't have a chance last week to do it so um no, it's not lost in space. So um, the prize this for this past February, I handpicked, and I think you're going to love it. Um, if so if you won a prize in February, you'll be getting um, a 10... Okay, the dogs. Uh, a 10-pack of... Oh, that's uh, my <laughs> my contractor friend who's a dog walker, and the dogs love him, love, love, love him. Sorry about the noise. Okay, so if you won, okay, root beer is the name of, did I say root beer? Because it, root beer is the name of the Cricut Mug Press. They give each um, new launch a special name, like when they had Infusible Ink. I'm trying to remember the name that they had, Infusible Ink, and then another one. Oh, they give them these special names. Iris was the last one i think iris was the the foil and then root beer was the cricket mug um so anyway um if you won in february you are going to get a pack of 10 everyday pens in black and gold um you are also going to get a true control knife kit and um an extra large scraper so who couldn't use all those things and so each month um i give away if you're new so i'll tell you each month i give away uh five hundred dollars worth of prizes and i like to do small prizes so that a lot of people can win um but it does take me the whole month to get through all the prizes and that's why I process them at the end of the month and people don't get them until the new month okay so um, if you won in February you will be getting your prize soon in April and Bren I promise I will be mailing these other prizes from my house as well and then the as far okay as far as the joy going uh forward for that for that price i will get you more information going um towards the end of the month let's get started okay um <laughs> yeah oh so the begin so as far as um if you happen to see when you're working on like little mug things, if you happen to see the term root beer, root beer means um, it was the code word for um, for the mug press. So that way that people at Cricut, they have a special name for each new launch. And they're very secretive about, about it. And for good reason, um, because they want to make sure that when they launch something, it's really a big splash. And then also remember, there's competition out there as well. So um, you can't like keep your competition in the know because 
uh, how would you surprise them? And, and it can be a little competitive. And I love that about cricket. I love that they're always looking to amaze us with these products. Now, each product might not be for you. The Joy might not be for you. Infusible Ink might not be for you. The Mug Press might not be for you. But somewhere along the line, they're going to get you if you have a, an interest in cricket because they are so varied. I mean, a lot of people I heard on the on the launch of root beer of uh, the mug press were, were saying, well, why don't they fix the software? And and I think it, that's a little short sighted because Cricket's a big company and they have people that work on the software. They have people that work on product development. They have people that work on materials development. They have people that work just on social promotions. Um, they have people everywhere. They're so, it's organized by this amazing man, um, the CEO, Ashish Aurora. And um, it's just really an amazing company and I'm so proud to be working with them. So, um, so anyway, let's get started. Hi everyone. Um, and so let's talk about these mandalas. So mandalas are, if you don't know what they are, if you haven't come, um, Oh, if you haven't come notice them, and everybody's doing them in the cricket world, um, mandalas are basically cutouts um, in paper. So this is a paper thing, um, and you then layer each cutout. Um, and you can do it in two ways. One, you can do with the foam, our little foam dots that we that we have used in the past. But to be honest, I kind of like them just all glued together. Um, I like them all glued together. And I, for the life of me, have no idea how you would put foam dots on this one. This one was the most um, scary one to cut because look at how thin those lines are maybe I should have made it bigger but oh my gosh putting this together with the glue um was just so like whoa I had to use my extreme or my ultra tipped barely glue um and uh then I also started making this uh, I made this uh bunny and I did it in kind of in the colors they suggested and then the egg which sort of in those colors that they suggested. But then I started thinking, um, what if I made them smaller? Now, I don't think I could make this one smaller because, oh gosh. I mean, I know that, that the cricket could cut it, but I was like, I don't know if my eyes could, you know, stand looking at how thin these lines became. But um, what I found out is that these do well in a small size and you can indeed cut this on the joy. Um, and so I wanted to uh, show you where you can find these and how, um, how to change them and change the size. I'll give you this file, but all of these graphics come from Design Space. So if you are a Cricut Access customer, these are free for you. Okay. And um, there's a lot of them. So um, let me show you. And before you go off to like Etsy and buy a new mandala, um, check out Design Space, okay? Yes, they are free. Yes. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to start off from scratch. Oh, okay. New version detected. Mm -mm -mm. Don't they all always redoing this stuff? Uh, I'm going to have to update later. Is it going to let me? No, it's not going to let me. Uh, okay. And that's not to say, I love cricket, but that's not to say there are some things that are really annoying about cricket. And um, the software is buggy sometimes, but um, it is, oh, I don't know what this is. The software is buggy sometimes, and uh, sometimes there are things that drive me crazy, and that would be any time I have to do an update on a live broadcast, but it goes by pretty quick. Um, okay, so 
while we're waiting for that, let me just say that um, I am, you can use those dots, but I use this glue, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And um, if you want to get this glue, I have some links in the description, okay, um, of my of my uh, videos, and I have it on my page with Reader to the Rescue. This is version six point five point ninety two, um, so you really don't have a choice with um, installs, which seems a little weird, but okay. Um, and then, by the way, um. <coughs> I just posted my uh, links for affiliate programs with um, Michael's, Amazon, Cricut, uh, and Create for Less. I still have some um, discuss discussions in the works for a couple other affiliates that I'm waiting for them to come through on. And also, um, I wanted to let you know that I am hoping, hoping, hoping that I can do something with Laurie Whitlock because she has such amazing files. Um, I know I've done with Dreaming Tree before, um, and also Mary from SVG Cuts, but I was, I reached out to Laurie this morning. So, um, let's see if we can't get into our design space now, uh, with the updates. So these are called... Um, the husband with only the, <laughs> yesterday was Dawn's birthday and her husband was walking around the house in a bow tie, but she failed to mention, um, she failed to mention the, uh, the fact that he might have not been wearing other things. Okay. So, um, so this is the home page of Cricut Design Space. So this is what you'll come up to. And I just want to point out that now that they are featuring, um, a lot of videos here and, um, different, different community things going on here. Um, and, and just different categories. I think that's a really good idea. We're going to start with a brand new project and we're, we're going to start with a blank canvas and we're going to go to images and you can type in mandala here if you want, but I wanted to do, um, I wanted to do the spring mandalas including like the egg and everything so this is all of the mandalas but I wanted to do um the spring one so if you happen to do this search and you see one you like and you think gee I'd like to see um the whole group of these you can go on this little eye with the circle around it and choose view image sets and it will show you this, which is called Multi Layer Holiday Mandalas 2. So that gets me thinking wow, if there's a multi layer holiday mandalas, which is where I got the egg and the bunny, there must be a multi layer holiday mandalas 1, right? So I'm going to go to image sets and I am going to choose image sets and I'm going to choose to write M-A-N-D-A-L-A, -A -A, Mandala, just Mandala. And so you'll see we have 13 results and there's a lot of variety here. There are these multi-layer holiday Mandalas. I guess that's the one, number one. Um, and that has on there some Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, and I think Dias de los muertes but um i think that's what that is and so there's one but those are all fall holidays so let's look at this one that says multi-layer mandalas these are not they're beautiful but they're not yet uh spring except for maybe the butterfly the butterfly would be pretty um and maybe the lotus so let's go back and look at what else we have we have mandala animals and diwali mandalas and mandala monograms um and even more mandala animal printables oh i don't know um and let's see here is the one we we first happened upon and this is where i got these three the bunny the egg and the um 
and the shamrock, okay? So um, I'm just going to pull them into my design space so you can see what they consist of. So they come in pretty large, and I think that's what got me thinking I'll just cut it the way that they came in. But you know, I like to fuss around with my images. I don't always just cut them at the suggested space. So I actually left it at this size for this one, but I almost think it could be bigger um, and could make the cut bigger. So remember when it comes in, it's in a group. So um, you would have to ungroup it to sort of see what it's made up of. So here is that top layer. Look at how intricate. And then the second layer here, the third layer here, fourth, fifth, sixth. So most of these have at least six layers. And I will tell you, we're not going to cut them out today because they take a very long time to cut out. I cut them out um, in intricate cut setting. So I'm going to show you um, what I mean by that because some people don't know about intricate cut setting. Um, and I also used uh, paper that um, is from, actually I got it from the 12 by 12 cardstock shop and it is uh, AC Crafts Precision Cut paper. I love this paper. I've kind of fallen in love with this paper and um, and it cuts beautifully. I was disappointed to see that Cricut still hasn't got paper in stock because I really do like Cricut paper and I do like Michael's eight and a half by 11 inch paper but I've never been super excited about their selection on the 12 by 12. Um, so I found this the shop called 12 by 12 cardstock shop and they sell all kinds of paper and this AC crafts American crafts precision paper is beautiful on the Cricut okay so um so I did cut these out as big as 11 and a half which is the maximum you can go with um the regular size mat um but remember you can make these smaller and cut them on you can make them as small you have to be uh, 4.25 on one of the parameters if you have a joy and this will cut out beautifully on the joy at that size but this one, I don't know. I want to just go to 4.25 and see. This will be a tough, um, a tough one, I think. And what you could always do, I mean, you could try it. Of course, you could try it, of course. Um, but what you could always do is you can peel away some of these layers. Like this one here. I mean, you could peel away this top layer um, and and not do it because they do look beautiful with just, you know, some of them. Or you could take out certain ones here like this kind of that and um, so if you're kind of afraid of cutting with that intricate cut setting so let me show you what I mean by the intricate cut setting um, and by the way I did cut out and we're going to put together um, we're going to put together a small egg and a small bunny today so now um, let me just egg okay let's just do this one and we're going to hit make it there's really not anything you have to do here um and I of course cut them out two at a time so um so I always hit two now what you'll find with these ones um the 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 first layer is blank it's just the shape and then the top layer is the same color and it is like the least uh amount of paper used if that makes sense and then it goes and moves along and I like the fact that at this size I can get um, all of these on to six mats and at the end I'll have two um, I'll have two cutouts and so that's what I did here and I, I kind of like that the bigger ones are beautiful but I think they'd be more for like a door like a like a front door or maybe in um like in a in a community center they have like or a teacher's room where they have cutouts um where they have what do you call them 
um, bulletin boards, bulletin boards. Okay. So, um, so the bigger they are, the harder it is to sort of find a place to hang them. But the smaller ones would, I think, go nicely on windows, or even you could turn it into a card. It might be a little thick, but you can turn it into a card. Now, as far as the materials go, um, I want you to go to the browse all materials and just scroll down to cardstock. So these are all the cardstock options that we have. And normally I cut on medium cardstock, which is about 80 pound cardstock. You can also do heavy, which is 100 pounds and light. But I think this machine does really, really well on medium cardstock. So that is one of my favorites. However, when I'm cutting these really, really uh, detailed cuts, I will use this cardstock for intricate cuts. Now, this is not a setting on the Joy, so it's only a setting for the Explorer or the Maker. I don't know why it's not a setting on the Joy. The Joy does handle intricate cuts um, pretty well. I've I've done intricate cuts on the Joy, um, but just if you go to look for it and you're working on the Joy, you do need to um, know that it's not right now a setting. Um, and so if you're going to do these, I would suggest that you do them in this cardstock for intricate cuts, which I actually have. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hey, 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 hey. Come here. Oh, they see a dog. I so apologize. Come on, Teddy. Teddy, come on. <laughs> their dog walkers outside talking to somebody that has a dog and they're offended. Okay, sorry guys, sorry. I hate for that noise on here. Um Hey, stop. Thank you. Um okay, so we're going to cut these out and use intricate cuts. Intricate cuts go slower and it goes over the design twice. So, um cutting this out in intricate cuts will take a long time. Just be prepared. And what I do, and I was really surprised that people like Shelly um, don't have a lot of mats. I have a ton of mats. I collect, I never throw them out and I collect them. And so when I'm going to do a project like this, I pick all the paper ahead of time and then I like line up my mats in a, in a stack so that when I'm cutting them out, I just sort of mindlessly feed them in, in the order that they're supposed to go. I don't even have to check my, um, my design space. I just feed them in and then I do other things. Um, and so and that's how I handle these sorts of cuts. Now, if you were going to work with, if you have just one, one mat, you'd have to, you know, scrape the whole mat down and then put the next thing on. It's kind of labor intensive, but the way that I do it is pretty, um, is pretty quick. So, um, so that's cutting it out and putting them together is pretty easy. I would suggest that you use a glue that has, um, a ultra tip and I'm going to show you that. So we're going to put together these two in a smaller size so that you can see how that works. Okay. Let me bring you down to my workspace. Uh, here we go, and we have a bunny, and we have a, an egg that we're going to put together. Let me move this. That we're going to put together today. Okay, so I made the bunny pretty small. Um, that was after I made it really large. Here's the large one. So it's really a size small. I wanted to see if it would cut out well on the joy um at this size and so this is was cut out um at 11 and a half inches i think this is 11 inches now i want to point out some mistakes that i made on this one um so that you can see what i did wrong first of all i tried to make make this from the top down um and that was a mistake because the 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 topmost layer is very very um 
It's very delicate, but the backmost layer is just one, uh, one plain shape. Okay. So I would recommend when, when you're putting these together, you start with the back and use your, um, use your uh, image as a guide for how these are supposed to go. So in this case, there is the, the very most back piece. And then you'll see there's a, just a few cuts here. So that's the next one. And then this one comes in. Now, one of the things you wanna look at is make sure that as you add a layer, you're still seeing some of all the colors you had on there. So in this case, we're seeing three colors. And then we get to see four colors, you see? Now, um, if I did it this way, this wouldn't really work. It, it would actually not show the purple. So I know that I need to put this in this way so that I can see the purple and the blue at the same time. And then it starts to get a little more detailed. So there's that um, layer. And then the second layer or the from the top and then this being the utmost layer okay so again you can use those pop dots to put these together but i kind of like glue um and i am using today this glue it's called barely art precision craft glue i love this glue um it, it i also really really like this glue called art glitter glue but this has been kind of my favorite because of the tip um it actually comes in two tips. This is the ultra, t no, this is the precision tip. This is the ultra tip. It's very thin. And so when I was doing the um, shamrock and I had to do all of those very detailed spaces, I used the ultra tip, okay? And it comes out very thin and I will show you how it comes out, okay? So here is uh, the back piece and we're gonna do the, next one this one so we're working on the back of it and we're just going to put now do not resist the urge okay do not use a lot of glue here because you don't want your layers to be squishy okay when you do that it tends to um take a long time to dry and also it um it can sometimes warp your paper or cause problems with adhering, okay? So just use a little bit, and if you have to go back and add more, you can do that, but start off with less, okay? In this case, less is definitely more. <laughs> so um, you'll notice that I'm putting it mostly around the, um, the parts that are going to be exposed where all those holes are so i'm doing that here and i am lining it up very carefully and i'm actually using these dots here and here to make sure i'm lining it up correctly i know you probably think well it's just an egg you should just be able to figure it out but um <laughs> but i've noticed that these dots are very helpful um, with placement. I don't know if that's why they put it on there, but I'm using it for that. Um, okay. So here is the next one. So they go together fairly quickly and easily. Um, it's just the cutting out can be a little, um, challenging for your patients. If you're not a super patient person, it will help develop your level of patience. Um, and that is always a good thing. My mom used to say, patience is a virtue. Um, so yes, patience is a virtue. So we should all try to cultivate it. We're very impatient world um, we've become. So all right, so I'm just putting a little dot of glue here on this like lace feature, not a ton, um, but we are getting to the point where the um, the the cuts are, are getting more and more delicate, okay? So here again, I'm just here on the bottom, I'm lining up 
on those on those uh, cutouts so I can see still see that. Now I have the last two and um, I might switch to the ultra. Well, no, I can probably still use for this one. I can still use the regular. Let me sure here. I'm in. I'm in the cat caption or the the shot. I'm in the shot. Um. And again, not a lot of glue here. Okay. Now I've seen some people put these on a couple of things. I've seen them put them in shadow boxes, which are beautiful. Um, and sometimes you can pick up sets of shadow boxes. And we've done shadow boxes before. They're really fun. And I think they lend themselves to um, these designs when they have those pop dots in them. Um, I've also seen people put them on easels and I wanted to take you back after we finish these to show you where you can find your own easel, um, and make it out of paper or even craft board, um, because there is a, uh, like a frames, uh, this is an old cartridge. I mean, an old image set that was frames. I'm going to switch this. This is my ultra fine tip so I'm just see how very very fine this comes out very fine um and here we go um okay so I was talking about easels so you can make your own little easel so say you have you know a mom that's in a nursing home and you want to give her something spring to look at you could make your own little paper easel and so if somebody knocked it over it wouldn't go crashing and breaking the glass um and I'm all about uh trying to reach out to seniors and and uh or for whatever reason if somebody's in the hospital or whatever, um, you know, an easy thing that the nurses can quickly move. Um, and these would make really beautiful little decorations, I think, on your coffee table. Um, and they're just, you know, they're just fun. This is going to really cheer up the place. Okay, so that is the Easter egg. Isn't it cute? It was so easy to put together. So um, I hope that you do try this one. Let's put together the bunny. The bunny is a little bit, I made it smaller. Um, um, I, I, I wasn't following the chat. So somebody was talking about intricate cut. You don't have to, for instance, this um, this piece and this piece probably don't need to cut it on intricate cut, but, um, the way that it's laid out is that these two pieces, the, the back and the very top are cut together. So you could probably put them on separate mats and, um, then you could cut these ones out with regular, the regular medium card stop. Okay. And somebody noticed uh the other day when i i had my we were working with uh vinyl so we didn't i think it was vinyl we were working with but so i i had used my um my glue earlier in, before the show and somebody said your your um your uh, gl your glue has no pin on the top and i was like oh you caught me you do definitely want to keep the um keep the glue with the pin it comes with a pin now if you have to um if you lose the pin which i often do this is the pin it's very long and easy to lose if you lose the pin then you have to use another pin but sometimes those pins will cause your glue to get um a little distorted in color it doesn't really affect the glue at all except for maybe the drying when it dries it might leave a little bit of like rust on the back but if you get the glue in the right place you shouldn't be able to see that anyway okay so here is the next layer of our bunny so i already put two and here is the third and before I go any further, I want to make sure I have these 
cutouts correctly. So there's blue and yeah, then the yellow and then the white. So I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. Actually, what I like to do is go blue, white, and then turn it over like this. I know it's silly, but um, but for me, it's easier to keep track. Because have you ever glued the wrong side of your piece? I have, um, and it's so frustrating. So you're like, oh no, I put the glue on the wrong piece. And you can kind of wipe off the glue, um, but oftentimes I find it's better to just go back and cut that one piece because you put it on, you put the glue on the wrong side. So, uh, okay. Let's see. Um, also want to say happy birthday to Susan Sharp. She's been with us all along, and it's her birthday today. And so I hope you wish her a uh, happy birthday. Yesterday was Dawn's birthday, and we have a lot of March and April birthdays, mine included. Mine's in April as well. Um, I like spring babies. <laughs> uh, so let's see. I'm going to put this on here. You see, not having glue come squirting out there is a good thing. So try to use as little as possible. Um, yeah, you know, I ended up losing one of these pins. So I put the, uh, what is it? I put, this was a just kind of a, a, a sewing pin, stainless steel that had a little ball on the end. But it is a good idea to... Um, to try to now some people the really organized people will take actually take the tips off of their glue when not in use and then go and and clean them out at the sink but I am simply just not that kind of an organized person um and I suspect that many people are not like are, are like me I should say are like me also, I should let you know that um, I got a great email from Loretta. Loretta was the one that showed us the alcohol ink um, mason jars with the twinkle lights. And she gave me a little insight on that. I know uh, some of you... Uh, have already worked with alcohol inks, but I have never. Um, and so I did order them. And um, I ordered... I ordered some twinkle lights, but they didn't have the jars. I'll post those links um, so that when we do this project, you can buy these products. They're just like little um, droppers full of alcohol ink. It's ink. So uh, huh, it's going to be kind of crazy, I think. But um, but we'll be working on that coming up so we can make fairy lights. I love to make fairy lights. Those are the twinkle lights inside of a um, inside of a mason jar that have colors that we're going to color. Who knows what we're going to do for color. And then we'll decorate them with, um, with some Cricut. Uh, vinyl on the outside. I love fairy lights. Okay, and we're almost done. But you see what I mean? I mean, you have to be, and you guys will do it better than me. I know I'm known for saying that, but you will because you'll take time and you won't be chit chatting while I'm doing it. You know, well, that's what I, I get kind of distracted by chatting. Also, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, on Friday, which is Friday's always our 3D uh, day, a day that we do 3D um, projects, we're going to be doing an egg diorama from uh, Lori Whitlock. So she's having a sale right now every month. 
sort of in the middle of the month, she has a sale um, where she gives a certain percentage off. This time it's 30% off. And um, so it, I did post a link on the Miss Rita webpage. So on Friday, we're, um, if you want to follow along, you can go and, and purchase it. It is a paid file. Um, it costs normally, I think it costs $2.99, but with 30% off. So what is that? 60 cents off. So about, so about $2.30, I think you'd pay. Um, but it is the cutest diary. It's actually an egg shape. Um, and it reminds me of, okay, it reminds me of, of the Charlie Brown Easter, uh, program. Who remembers that where, um, where Snoopy goes into the department store where they're also buying eggs in a department store, which is a little weird. And he finds a sugar egg. These were actually eggs made out of sugar, pressed sugar, like a sugar cube. And they would have inside them little um, things like little scenes little bunnies or a, a lamb or whatever I know that they had these because I bought one for my aunt like 30 years ago and when she passed away she still had this because it was just a sugar egg um, and it had an opening in it so we're going to make some paper egg dioramas and I'll show you how to put that together some people found it a little challenging but it's um it's pretty fun to do. So definitely, if you want to do that, or if you just want to pick up anything at Lori, um, she's having her monthly sale right now. And it's at shop.loriwhitlock.com. And we're going to put that together on Friday for 3D Friday. Um, and so I am just gluing here. Sorry to take so long. I'm kind of not paying attention, but I always want to fill up the the time. Let's see what people are saying on the chat. I can't do that at the same time that I'm gluing. Sorry. Um, let's see. Also, on Thursday, the mug press gets released. I don't know what time it's going to get released, but remember, Cricut is on Mountain Time. Um, and... So that's, if you're on the East Coast, um, we're Eastern time. And so uh, that's a two hour difference from Eastern time. Um, and I would love it if you use my link to uh, buy and make a purchase. That would really help me quite a lot. But um, my code will not work on machines. And I just wanted to let you know that. So you might run into... Um, a little trouble if you try to use my code so um, and there will be some great bundles there I don't know if the code works on bundles though I know I'm going to get myself some more mugs because I kind of, <laughs> kind of fallen in love with that mug thing the mug press and I think I can make a lot of really fun mugs okay so there's my last piece going on and the great thing about this is, even though it's very delicate, is very sturdy. See that? So um, you could make these small. You can make these large. I'm going to take you back up to my screen and show you the um, show you the easels. Okay, because I thought of that yesterday I thought I need to show them where <laughs> thank you Leah um okay so to find the easels I believe they are in an image set called frame of mind but I might have some issues with that so I'm just going to type in frame um under image sets and here are two fancy frames and frame of mind and I think think that there are easels in one of these mm, okay maybe not maybe I'm wrong but um a paper easel maybe me there it is there it is so this is an easel or you could use this one and when you bring it into um your your uh your design space um you want to sort of make it um, a good size. So in this case for this egg, I think what I would do, 
to uh, size it is I would kind of see like how it would look. And this is the main piece here. So um, I'm thinking this would be a good size for the frame. It's uh, eight and a half inches wide for this size egg because I kind of don't want to see the easel in the back um, showing. And I would cut this out in craft board. You can cut it in black or white or even craft and then put it together. It appears to me like it's just a two-piece thing. Um, you cut it out with the craft board and it will hold that. And I'll go back and cut one out so that you can see how that goes together. Okay. You could make it solid. Excellent point. So if you don't care about the um, the fancy features here, let me show you how you would make it solid. You would go down here, way down here on the bottom right and hit contour. And what you can do for this, since there's all these little tiny pieces, is just hit hide all contours. So by hiding all contours, it actually hides all but one contour, um, which is uh, this one here. And I would probably keep these little cut lines on there as well. But I've just, I've, I've hid all of the contours um, and then the cutout part, I don't know, I guess, you know, um, and then these little bits, okay? So then you end up with a very, uh, you know, just simple one, but when you cut it out, you're going to fold it here and it's going to have a little shelf on it, okay? So um, that is an easel. Um, I think that that is everything for today. Uh, I just want to, while I'm here, I want to show you Lori Whitlock's, um, Lori Whitlock.com. It's shop.lauriewhitlock. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Shop dot Lori Whitlock. Yep, there it is. Dot com. And you'll see here uh, on her banner that this 30% off and you use this coupon code MAR2021. Um, and uh, you would find that either by scrolling, you can also go to 3D over here on the left hand side. And I believe I found it just by scrolling. Mm -mm -mm. Or I think I could. You could also search egg di diorama. Egg. Let's just do egg because I'm trying to remember how to. Um, so look at all these beautiful eggs that she has. There's even a double gatefold card, Easter egg card. But the egg diorama is on here because I shared a. Um, how do you spell diorama? Diorama. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, there it is. Easter egg diorama. So um, that's on Lori Whitlock's site. And I think that that's it for today, folks. We will see you again tomorrow. Look for the um, that big giveaway of the Cricut Joy that's going to be coming up towards the end of the week. Um, and if you need anything, you can always... Catch me through email, Miss Rita to the Rescue at Gmail. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel because we're trying to meet a goal. And I really would love it if we can meet it by the end of the year. So I want you to help me with that. And I hope that you have a lovely day. I hope it's full of crafting and sunshine. Take care, everyone. Bye.